Ah, it's Friday again. Look at that. We're back in action. And it feels like a matter of hours since I did the last one of these because I did the last one so late in the evening yesterday, which was odd, to be honest. It was way, <laughs> way too late to be talking about things to do with business. But there you go. Um, so, yeah, what's been coming up today? <clears throat> Main thing on my mind today is, I suppose it's a reflection on the week, but a thing I'm taking from this week that I thought would be interesting to talk about a bit was, it's something that, I mean, it's kind of one of these points that I say it, and I'm like, that's so obvious, why are you even sharing this? But it's never ceases to amaze me how much you realize you don't know. And equally, it continues to surprise me how much you do know that some of our people or many other people don't. So there's two sides to the story and, and there are two, two, two things that happened multiple times <clears throat> this week that I suppose brought me to this point. So on the first side then, so continually, it never ceases to amaze me how much I don't know in the sense of there's so much that you learn from just doing things or speaking to people or experiencing new challenges or working through things. If you really want to, you can probably just continually learn. Equally, if you don't want to, you can probably put the blinkers on and just you know, not really even attempt to learn. Um, but from my perspective, this week I there was a podcast I listened to <clears throat> and the podcast was between, uh, I suppose, a person doing a similar type of thing that I am for agencies and a person who would specialize in, in the financial side or the profitability side. And it was brilliant. Like I, I thought it was really interesting. I think from my perspective, there were at least a couple of things that I took from that and said, yeah, I mean, I probably need to prioritize that more for clients or I could, or there's a, a different perspective on something I'm currently doing that might help me do something better for clients. So that was one. Number two was just by working with a couple of clients on things. Again, by doing work with them, things come up. So what I do like to do is I have a session. I don't immediately come back to the client with a follow-up because I like to take a bit of time, usually no more than a day. This week, some of them were a bit longer because I was off on Wednesday, but take a bit of time to reflect in the session from the sense of what did I actually take from it or what can I take from it and maybe learn from <clears throat> or what can I take from it and then apply to that client specifically. Uh, and again, every single time I do these sessions, you're always learning something, right? So that was one, again, continually learning. And I think it's just important. It would be easy to do something like that. It would be easy to listen to the podcast. We've all done it, right? You listen to the podcast, you put it on, you're in the car, you're not really listening. It's the same thing with a book. Are you reading it or are you just, are you properly reading it, basically? Same with the podcast. You can listen to it. But are you listening and absorbing it, maybe pausing it, taking a note, learning, reflecting from it? Two very different things. And then the second point, I, I think it's one I've always struggled with in the sense of, <clears throat> I might have looked at things through the lens of, ah, sure, that person's got five years more experience than me. He will know everything I know plus more. That's not the way it works. And I talked about this before in the sense of, you could work with someone who's got 30 years experience doing something, or you could work with someone that's doing, got five years experience doing it. There's not a guarantee, it's not a 100% black or white scenario, that the person with 30 years experience is better fit for you and your business. There'll be plenty that they've experienced more than someone that's done it for less time, I've no doubt. But it's maybe what they choose to apply or how they choose to help you might be better or might be worse, okay? So that's, that's, that's for, I suppose, the, the general point. But specifically from this week, <clears throat> when I'm working with people or when I'm talking to people in general, it, I'm actually, I, I feel, it gives me a bit of a boost, right? You're like, it's, it's a nice thing to hear when someone says something like, wow, you know, I've done X for a number of years and I've never heard this, or 
that's a really interesting way to think about it. I've done X for 20 years and I've never thought about it that way. And that thing comes up quite a lot, which is great because I suppose from my perspective, it means a couple of things. The way I'm thinking about stuff is a bit more original. Maybe the way I'm thinking about stuff is pulling inspiration from a couple of other people, which is generally the way, and then putting my own spin on it. Whatever the case, it seems to be that I'm providing value or helping people or adding value to people's businesses and their lives in ways that they maybe haven't seen before, which is great. <clears throat> and honestly, for me, that's, yeah, that's quite fulfilling, truthfully. But ultimately, it's, I would be concerned if I was coming away from these sessions and the feedback was ultimately, I've heard that before. Or, yeah, I know that. You know, that would be obviously a concerning indicator that maybe something's not quite right or working well. So, um, yeah, two key things, like always surprised in two ways. Surprised how much there is to learn, but equally surprised how much you already know in some ways. And I think it's just being mindful. A couple of things to be careful of, or not careful of, but conscious of there are, it would be easy to get too arrogant. <clears throat> so you could, what, what does arrogance look like there? Arrogance looks like, I know everything, I don't need to learn anymore. It's not the case. The opposite, which is equally as dangerous for you and your business, if you're someone like myself in a lot of ways, which is, um, oh, I don't know anything. I have so much to learn. Well, <laughs> no, that's not the case either. So, I mean, there, there's a balance to it in the sense of, balance probably isn't correctly, strictly correct, but there's somewhere in between the two, right? And depending on certain topics or themes or areas of your of your expertise, you might be really strong at something. So you might have technically or potentially less to learn and you might know more about it, but then equally there might be something you don't know so much about and you've got more to learn. And I think that's usually the way it's gonna play out, right? So if you think of, I always think, um, this is a funny one, but I always think of like these, a video game where you choose your character, right? And the character usually has say five traits and one might be speed, skill, strength, knowledge, or something like that. And I suppose the way that they make the game interesting is that, in theory, <clears throat> you could have different matchups. So if you pick a, if you're playing like a racing game, and you pick a character like you know Mario Kart for example, and certain characters in that will be better against others, and vice versa. The reality is you can win with any of them. They're just balanced out, I suppose, in that sense. And I, I feel like that's what I'm getting at in the sense of business. So if I think for that podcast, the person that appeared in that podcast that does a similar thing to me in terms of how they support agencies, they might work with bigger agencies generally, but the way they help them is similar to me. Their strengths might outweigh my some of my skills. Okay, so they might be really good at some things that I do as well. And then there might be some things that I do maybe for smaller agencies or certain people that I probably outweigh them on. I don't see the case as, I mean, generally you could argue, okay, well, overall, who's better? I don't think that's the right way to look at it either. And I talked about that in relation to competition in a previous video. I don't think it's a case of out and out who's better, who's worse. <clears throat> some people are better suited to certain things than others. So anyway, that's really all for, for now. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good for today. I'm just going to get stuck into some work and wrap up the week. And yeah, I don't have too much else to say on that one. I think I'll probably cut it kind of short today. I want to get stuck into a few things and I'll be back next week with maybe a couple of longer videos too. So, okay, look.